Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In this video we will talk about Storybook with View. So with Storybook you can very easily isolate your view components so you can very easily test it and um, isolate it from the rest of your application. So in this video I will show you how you can do that with a very simple and basic component that we will isolate and put into our storybook.js let's go so now we can just execute storybook cli as a b in it first of all is going to grab storybook cli from npm right and then of course after that you will follow certain steps to add storybook to your current uh, few to JS application. He will detect that it's a um, few.js application and you will execute certain scripts for that to add it to your project. So you see he detects that uh, we are in a view.js application and now is going to resolve the current and correct packages to just install storybook to our view.js application. And now he is done, so we can run your storybook to launch our storybook uh, application and see all our components that are available within a story in storybook. So let us execute your storybook to see how it looks like. You'll see that he created certain stories already, the button story and the um, vacuum story. And just a button and a vacuum. We have here some buttons where we have clicked FESX, so TSX, and we have emojis, which has also an action here. So when we click on it, that action will be executed and will be uh, added right here. You can very easily refresh or zoom in and zoom, zoom in <laughs> and Zoom out, right? But that's great. Also, you can search for something like, for example, text, and then on the text will be will appear. So it's very easy when you have a lot of stories and you have a lot of components. You can very easily search for it and uh, go for that, right? So Storybook has add-ons, but it also has uh, a config. And one of the things that I want to remove here is the fact that um, he needs to find the stories in slash stories, but that's not something that I like. So I just remove that so that he just going to look at stories within, uh, yeah, within in the source folder. So I'm going to do that. And then, of course, I need to move the stories to source folder all right and now i'm going to create a new 
component part file to do dot view so now I have an empty component to do which has a script with name to do and then we have of course our styles which is also empty so we're gonna add our template right here and we're gonna do it like this view dot change of course this needs to be like that so now of course we need to add the following template which is a list item and that list item has a property done so we need to add here a property done that the property is of type boolean of course and then we have methods I'm done. Methods, of course, I'm done. And then we can do something like this. But then we do I'm done. Right. All right, now we have our component. And we also want to test this component out, right? So what we do now is we just add to do dot stories .js, right and now we can test our to do dot view component out so one of the things that i have done is i'm going to start from my button but we're going to change this to to two and this is going to be to do right So it's never been used, so we're gonna add it here. So don't worry about that. What we now can do is do To do add on done. Of course, here in the method we do the action, and the action can just do something like on done, right? Of course, we need to close our to do and we need to say something like our first to do item and here we say because we need to look into to do and this is something like done so here we put done equals false do item and here we put to do's great yeah saved it so when we now go to our uh, storybook you will see that we have a change so when we go here and we click on it you will see that we get an error right but that's normal uh, now we know that Emit is undefined, so we can change that in our to do application. So when we now go to the to do dot view, you will see that this is an error function, and that's why we got that error. So we need to change it into a normal function. So he knows this again, and that's something that's very special for view, but also 
the normal, right? Uh, and then we can go to our storybook.js. And when we refresh this, and we click on it, we will see that he executes our action, right? Another thing that we very easily can do is now to do checked, for example. So we copy paste this and we do something like to do checked dom true. We save this. You see that the name that you give he also put it in here and we have to do item checked and he puts a space between every capital letter so that's nice right and you see that our checkbox is being checked so that's great i hope you uh, enjoyed this video and that you learned something uh, from uh, Storybook with view. I hope you're gonna use Storybook within your project. It's a really nice tool to isolate your components from your main application. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.